Good evening and welcome to Championship Sports, coming to you tonight to the beautiful Will Rogers Coliseum in Fort Worth, Texas. Tonight is World Class Wrestling. All matches are sponsored by the World Class Wrestling Association. The opening event, one fall, 15-minute time limit, beat the television champion. Introducing first the challenger, 235 pounds, from Atlanta, Georgia, one of the Freebirds, Buddy Roberts. From New Mexico, 250 pounds, defending his TV title, none other than Mark Youngblood. The purse tonight, $3,000. Rick Hazard, your referee. Okay, here we go. Now our first bout tonight is Freebird Buddy Roberts against Mark Youngblood for the television title. Yes, the fabulous Freebirds in a big, emotional, hard-fought victory claimed the world six-man tag team titles at the Sportatorium a week ago last night. Youngblood chasing Roberts back. I want to talk to Sunshine a little later about sort of this treatment that the missing link has been getting from the likes of a Percy Pringle, a Skandor Akbar. She mentioned that last week. Also, the dynamic duo have asked for some early interview time tonight. Of course, we've been anxious to talk to the dynamic duo since we haven't talked to them since Christmas. When we saw, following the battle, actually in the closing stages of the battle, and after, some uh, differences between the two. There was reluctance on the part of Gino to tag in. There were words, a little slapping. And it appeared that it was uh, all patched over before they went to the back. But there's more. Youngblood now will back away, allowing Roberts to complain to referee Rick Hazard. Anyway, we thought that everything was hunky-dory again by the time they got out of there, to put it bluntly. But there was an additional and even more serious altercation in the dressing room area of Reunion Arena following the bout between those two. Some chairs were broken. Some blows were dealt and uh, got a little more heated there than it did in the ring. So we've got some questions to ask from the dynamic duo. Roberts puts him in the bear trap. Television title on the line, which brings up a topic that Kerry Von Erich brought up last week, and that is the desire of Kerry and the Von Erichs and a lot of other folks in acquiring a chance at the TV belt and the opportunity to keep it. The problem, of course, is the fact that you have to be here each and every week to defend it regardless of your personal situation. For example, Iceman King Parsons has owned the belt on two different occasions, only to have to give it up, one because of an engagement overseas in Israel, and the other because of the death in the family. That shows you how rigid the rules are. Youngblood taking over, and Rick Hazard gives the count of two. So our television title not only means money, but television exposure and prestige, and it is desired by everybody. And Youngblood wants to keep it tonight. Roberts wants to get it. The Freebirds are riding high right now. After that emotional, wild victory at the Sportatorium. I hope you were with us that night, because if you weren't, you really missed a bout that, uh, well, just one you'll never see again. There will be other six-man bouts, but this one really was something. Roberts for the pin by Youngblood this time, only for the count of two. <laughs> Youngblood, the Indian Chief, in quest of retaining this belt tonight, is on that left leg, rides the knee into the thigh. 
Well, Nina Hernandez was very interested in getting some early interview time for the dynamic duo tonight. So we'll be talking to the dynamic duo right away. I'm glad down. Also, we'll be talking to the fabulous Freebird, Sunshine, Missy Hyatt, Percy Pringle, Rick Rude. And we really have good fortune for us since the big main event tonight, Lance Von Erg and the Iceman against Freebirds Hayes and Roberts is our TV main event coming up shortly. Big tape feature will be the Cosmic Cowboys against the Dynamic Duo where you can see for yourself what I mentioned a moment ago regarding the problems between Chris and Gino. Rick Eiser with a count of two here. Like I said, we thought everything was patched over by the time they left ringside. That was not the case. Problems got even more serious afterwards, although I think they're, the problems have been corrected now. I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. Now on comes Youngblood. Youngblood again. On I the it. There's the five-minute call by Joe Rinelli. Have some uh, wrestling Star Wars news. Remember, we're at the convention center Monday night, January 27th. Let's see, that ought to be about uh, two weeks from Monday. Is that right? That's correct. Thank you, Jim. Jim Lund, soothsayer and seer of the future. Roberts here belting Mark Youngblood. Remember, Championship Sports is coming to you in stereo now here on the Super Ones, KTVT Channel 11. Roberts from the left of the shoulder button. Roberts limping a bit. Take him down. Nice move by Youngblood. Roberts moaning. Another thing we saw last week was the grappler trying to use that boot. It backfired on him. As Youngblood here really has Roberts in a mess. Monday night we have a special card here at the Coliseum. Look at Roberts pulling on the mat trying to get to the rope. One finger hooked around the rope, and the hold is broken. Now, Monday night, there are several reasons for you to be with us. Not only do we have a good card, but it'll also be your last chance to get the Wrestling Star Wars tickets if you want to get these choice seats that we have for our in-person customers. There also will be no wrestling here the following Monday. That's the 20th. Since the Big Southwestern Exposition of Fat Sox Show will be in town, we celebrate that annual event by going to the convention center then a couple of weeks later. That'll be the 27th. Young blood here has Roberts in big trouble on the seat of his pants in the corner. And young blood pulls him out and down. Young blood in the blue. A knee on Roberts again. But he's down flat on his back, and that calls for the count. Another thing we saw at the Sportatorium the other night was a re-emphasizing by Missy Hyatt of her desire to be only associated with the winner. Tatum ran into a few problems during the bout, and she flat deserted him. Then grabbed a hold of him and shoved him up onto the stairway and back in the ring. She insists on having a winner with her at all times. I'm looking forward to that chain match which we talked about this time between Brody and the gang inside the steel cage man can win only by unchaining himself and walking out with the other man not being able to stop it over and down goes Jugblood here and Roberts climbs the rope down on one knee as Youngblood got up. 
Fans making Indian powwow noises in the ringside section. Trying to get Mark Youngblood cranked up. Youngblood driving the knees into the thighs. Now picks him by, up by the legs. Bends him in Boston Crab fashion. <laughs> Haven't seen a Boston Crab in a while. Now Youngblood completely steps across and bends the body backwards. Also, on that wrestling Star Wars on the 27th, 10 minutes, 5 minutes remaining. The World Six-Man Tag Team title rematch is in order. Last week, Gary Holder made a very important point. Look at Robert pulling on the mat back there again. And that was that when a title winner loses his belt, he's entitled an automatic rematch. And that is the case for the Von Erich going for the lost world six-man title on this big wrestling Star Wars card Monday night, January 27th. Roberts from behind. Limping over where Youngblood stands against the rope. This time, Lance will be involved with Kevin and Kerry. <laughs> Youngblood thrown on the backside. Now down, wants to take Roberts with him. Does so. One, two, and the legs are good. Pop across the head. Kerry, Kevin, and Lance versus Hayes, Gordy, and Roberts. The Freebirds are now six-man champions. And look at Youngblood fighting. Three minutes remaining, only three minutes. Only three minutes remaining in our time limit for the television title. Leading things off tonight. Donnie McDougall will be out next. Youngblood. Chop. And Roberts is pinned in the rope. Roberts is free, but Youngblood is still letting him have it. <coughs> Freebird Buddy Roberts down with a drop kick. It is Roberts who pinned Kerry Von Emmerich for the one, two, three of the Sportatorium just the other night. Youngblood thrown. Ducks under Roberts, comes back, drives Roberts into the rope, and both men go down. And Roberts comes clear, is on top for three. Roberts, the new TV champion. And we have a new television champion, Freebird, Buddy Roberts, the new television champion. A big week for Buddy Roberts here tonight. He's won the television title and $3,000. Look at him with it. Just the other night, it was Buddy pinning Kerry for the one, two, three. A big week for Buddy Roberts and the Freebirds in general. Well, stay with us. We'll be back to talk to the dynamic duo early as they requested in just a moment.